And just like that, I moved to Spain. So I'm here for just under three months and I'm, I'm in a place called Lugo, which is in the northwest of Spain. And I wanted a bit of a change of scene. Also wanted to make sure that I was in a productive environment. I wanted to make sure that, you know, I was still able to meet and collaborate with new people. So I'm in what they call a co-living and co-working space. So I've still got my own room, my own bathroom, uh, but it's got meeting rooms where you can either you know, book them out yourselves or you can go and just meet new people, hopefully. And everyone in this building should hopefully you know, be doing a similar sort of thing. They'll be self-employed. They're going to have their own things going on. So hopefully it's just a, a more of a convenient way to meet new people and maybe discuss new ideas, work on my Spanish as well. And yeah, so we'll just see how it goes. So yeah, very exciting, very going to be very new, very different. So yeah, just going to take it all in and, and go from there. So yeah, let's give you a little tour of the room and yeah, let's see what we've got. So I've got my own little kitchen. Uh, it's pretty basic, but it should do the job. So yeah, I've got a hob and a microwave, no oven, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, I should be, should be fine with that. Got a nice little coffee machine, although no kettle. So we'll have to, <laughs> we'll just sort that out. Uh, we've got a fridge, uh, unfortunately no freezer. Um, but again, hopefully that'll be fine. Um, yeah, obviously empty cupboards, so we're going to do a food shop in a bit and hopefully fill those, so I'll, I'll take you along the way there. So then we've got a little desk to really eat or do some work on, nice little sofa to relax, nice big TV. We've got a living area here. These are all the wardrobes, so nice little space to, to put a lot of stuff. View-wise, there's not too much of a view, um, but that's okay. So yeah, a bit of a road. And yeah, a little bit of a cloudy day, but we'll have to see how the weather is here. Hopefully it's a few <laughs> few degrees warmer than it is in the UK. So yeah, it's a nice little sitting area there. And then got the bathroom, nice big bathroom, nice shower. And yeah, should have everything I need. So I checked in last night. So I've had my first night here. So now it's just a case of unpacking, getting settled and yeah, seeing what's about. So, yeah, the cupboard's obviously empty as I just moved in. So we're going to go to the supermarket. We're going to do a big shop and stock up. So we're going to see how that is. So, I'll, yeah, I'll take you along the way. We'll see what food we get on the way back. And then, yeah, so I'm not really sure what's going to go into this video, but I'll take you along the way and, yeah, we'll see what we find. And there we go, shop complete. So got a whole load of stuff here. Hopefully that'll keep me going a little bit. Didn't have the biggest of selections and obviously loads, all of it is in Spanish. So I had a little bit of guesswork, um, but I'm sure, sure it'll be fine. So I'm just gonna take you through it quite quickly. So um, we've got the veg section here. So I mean, the biggest red peppers I've ever seen, big courgettes, carrots, onions, bananas. Meat section, so I haven't got a freezer, so I couldn't go too crazy in this section. Uh, but we've got some nice, nice salmon, we've got some chicken, some some beef mince, and then some Spanish sausage. We've got condiments, so we've got some chopped tomatoes, oil, ketchup, mayonnaise. We've got some piri piri, uh, some some more piri piri, teriyaki, herbs, uh, some garlic, pepper, salt. Then we've got so some peanut butter, jam, eggs, and uh, some Coke Zero because who doesn't love Coke? Then we've got. Uh, protein yogurts, a bit of cheese, pasta, milk, got some tea, some coffee, some orange juice, and my all-time favourite, Cocoa Pops. Some croissants for breakfast. Uh, I wanted some bagels, but I couldn't find any, so they'll do for now. I usually have that with a coffee and a protein shake. Some Tupperware, aluminium foil. On all that lot came to €91, Euros, which I didn't think was too bad. So yeah, first shot complete. Now just to put it all away. So I said I didn't know I was going to go into this video and I wasn't going to talk about this, but after what happened yesterday, I now need to. So let me rewind a little bit. So back in sort of mid-December, I started getting a normal sort of winter cold like everyone is, you know, ill over that sort of time. I didn't really think anything of it. Um, you know, I started having a bit of a cough, you know, powered through Christmas, powered through New Year, 
And it's just one of those things that you just think, I'll have a bit of rest, you know, after a couple of weeks, two or three weeks, I'll be ready to go again. It was really annoying with my training. I so, so I stopped running. I stopped, you know, doing any sort of strength sorts type of stuff. Um, so that was really frustrating. And yes, yeah, so this went on for sort of, you know, three weeks or so. And it's also why I just haven't really uploaded any videos because I was coughing so much. I just, you know, exhausted, just didn't feel like talking to a camera and the rest of it. So yeah, being a real frustrating uh, last few weeks. Anyway, so I probably should have seen someone before I came to Spain. But it was just one of those things that, you know, in the past, you've given it enough time rest and you're fine. So when I when I got here to Spain, uh, I was still coughing away. I was coughing through all the flights, which was really frustrating, not only for me, but obviously for obviously all the other passengers. Anyway, so I get here and, you know, unpack, you know, get here the first night. And then the next day, um, I just started feeling even worse. Um, and I was like, is this going to, I didn't want this to keep going on and on and on. So... Yeah, so I bit the bullet and was right, right, I'm going to go and, go and see someone, uh, which is obviously in hindsight should have done back in the UK. But anyway, so after I did the shop yesterday, I then found this uh, medical centre uh, that was open, which was just up the road. I still had the car at this point. So I went to see them. Um, very confusing as well because uh, not many people speak uh, English uh, very well here and oh, my Spanish is still not there yet. So it's, it's quite hard to communicate. But anyway, managed to get an appointment, saw this guy, very friendly. And he takes me through the normal sort of stuff. He says he wants to do a few tests. That's absolutely fine. So he hooks me up to an ECG and does a few other sort of tests and sort of, and I was thinking, okay, this is just, you know, maybe routine. He wants to see if anything major's wrong. And then he's just going to send me on my way with a prescription and I can be, I can be home and, you know, done and dusted. And then at the end of it, he says, Oh, well, now I want to refer you to the hospital. So I'm thinking, well, what the hell's going on here? Um, so he writes me a letter, sends me on my way. So I turn up to the hospital, <laughs> all a bit lost with this note from this doctor and, um, eventually get to see someone. They take me somewhere and they say they want to you know, run a few tests as well. <coughs> Seems like fairly straightforward. So then the next thing I know, uh, they, you know, take me, take me to a room, do a, you know, a few more tests. They want to do another ECG. So they, you know, um, hooking me up to that machine. They want to take some blood, so they, they took a blood sample, did blood pressure. Um, they then put me into a gown um, just to make it easier to do some of the, the various tests. And then after that, they've said they want to do an x-ray, um, but they had to take me somewhere. So then they've got this wheelchair out, I assume because I was in the gown to save me, you know, getting dressed, etc. So I then had to sit in this wheelchair um, I still had the cannula in as well at, at this point, so I was wondering whether they wanted to give me anything else or take any any more bloods. Um, so yeah, so then they're wheeling me through, and then I go and have these X-rays done. That's all fine, and then eventually they say, "Okay, now we need to wait for the results." So they wheel me through through this ward in this very public hospital, and I'm so confused at this point because they're trying to explain what they're doing, and I really don't really don't really have a clue what's going on. <clears throat> it's making me worry like it's something more serious going on that they're taking this much precaution this much care um and it was all running like you know fairly smooth i hadn't been there that long this was all done in the space of you know, an hour or so um and then so i'd wait for the results so they literally i assume it's a bit overcrowded right so they, they put me in this corridor there's all these other patients in these beds and i'm just sat there sitting in my gown in the chair with you know with my other stuff on my lap and i'm like and they just left me down there for like 40, 45 minutes, wondering what the earth is going on. Um, they eventually come and get me. And yeah, they said everything was fine. And they, um, so she was like, I'm going to give you some uh, antibiotics. And yeah, sent me on my way. Well, I must have been in the, like, up and by this time, that was sort of another half an hour or so. I'd probably been in the, the hospital at least two hours, maybe even, maybe even longer. And yeah, they just sent me some antibiotics, but it was good to know that it wasn't anything more serious and it was hopefully just, um, they thought it was maybe like a bit of pneumonia, which is a chest infection that hopefully should, uh, be solved with, with the antibiotics. So they went off to the pharmacy, got that. So yeah, hopefully that should all be fine now. Um, it did, did mean, so I was meant to give the car back yesterday and it meant that I missed then taking the car back, which wasn't ideal. So I then had to take that back this morning. Um, which so that's done and dusted now. 
So yeah, that's what we're up to today. So yeah, definitely didn't say that coming on the antibiotics now. Uh, it's only a three day course. So I'm just gonna rest for a couple of days. Hopefully that does the trick. I'm really keen to get back into my running. I was so close to, you know, I was really on my way to getting my target of 20 minute 5K with the running. I really wanna get back into like weights and strength training. And so yeah, so I was really eager to get going now. So yeah, probably not the video that I, I planned or expected to make on my on my first couple of days here. But um, yeah, so I'll leave this one here and then hopefully once I'm a bit better in a couple of days, I wanna go out and explore, see what's about. And yeah, hopefully, I have a bit more energy to do stuff. So yeah, thank you for watching, guys. Hopefully you can join me on this new adventure. Subscribe if you're new, and I'll catch you in the next one.